In this video, you will learn about the important aspects of annotations for developing supervised deep learning pathology models. How do we annotate? Hi, I'm Alexandra Zhurev and I'm here to help you do better digital pathology. If this is what you're up for, click the bell below and be sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified every time I release a new video. This video is part of a webinar I have given for the Davis Thompson Foundation. They had a day seminar about deep learning in pathology, in veterinary pathology and in general in healthcare one time. And it's a long webinar. I divided it into smaller parts, but if you're interested in the full thing, there is a link in the description below so you can watch the full thing. You don't have to like watch multiple YouTube videos or if you want multiple YouTube videos, I also prepared a playlist. So let's dive into it. And here I'm gonna stop to talk about annotations because annotations is something that we as pathologists often provide for training deep learning models. And we most of the time work with supervised machine learning, meaning we supervise what the machine is doing. So we are giving annotations and then we want this algorithm, this model in, in deep learning, the algorithms are called models. We want it to predict what we're looking for in an unseen data set. When annotation is the input data, what we have to do is have good input data. So the first thing we do to have good input data is define and document exactly what we are annotating. And defining and redefining, because in the course of model development, it may change. You may see that your model needs more precise annotations or less confusing annotations. The first, this first document is going to be something that is guiding your input data generation, so-called ground truth, we also call it, or gold standard, we also call it. Whether it is gold standard or not, we are drawing it. So it is subject to intrapersonal variability, but regardless, this is the thing that happens most often, we provide annotations. So let's make good annotations to have good models. What does that mean to have good annotations? We should annotate pure classes. So we have a model that classifies and we're going to talk about those computer vision tasks in a few minutes as well. So you will learn exactly what classification versus segmentation versus localization is. So if we want an algorithm to classify something, we should provide annotations with pure classes. So no other class than the class we are looking for should be present within your annotation. And obviously example, here we have cartilage, bone and bone marrow. And let's say we want to train the algorithm to distinguish cartilage from the rest. So when we provide cartilage annotations, we should be very detailed. Nothing in this annotation here, this dark shaded shape should be there should only be cartilage in there because we're training for cartilage. It should not look like that. So here we have uh, the cartilage is there, yes, but here we have a little bit of bone marrow and here we have a little bit of bone. This confuses our model because now the model thinks this also belongs to the class cartilage. So it should be pure classes in an annotation. And then we need to be consistent. An inconsistency in the example provided to train our model is going to confuse the model as well, and we're going to have suboptimal results. So we should annotate always the same way. And now we can go back to define and document exactly what we are doing. This strategy may change because what you will be doing later, you will be annotating a little bit and checking how your model performs. Did the model learn from your data already enough to predict it in a different data set? Or do you need to give more input data, more annotations? Or, and in this process, you will see, okay, this model is making mistakes here and there. So maybe I need to adjust my input data, my annotations to account for this problem. And that means that you might need, may need to redefine how you're annotating, what you're annotating, be better aligned. So 
when we are annotating, when we're providing our pathologist input data, and I will be happy to see in the chat if somebody is tasked with annotations, just write me a yes if you are, if any one of you is. So yes, and if you're involved in this, you probably already know this, but I know that several people are just starting. So I wanted to tell you that in the context of deep learning being a data-driven approach. Thanks for making it so far. That means you might be interested in the rest of the webinar. So be sure to click the link below and view the full thing. Or if you want just a couple of videos, there's a playlist. I'm going to be linking in the cards to the playlist as well. And I'm going to talk to you in the next episode.